So all of us, I mean, we're especially keen to see the pandas, so <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to, I mean, we've only really got one slide. Um, but the whole point of this exercise, what we did was to bring together you guys. We went around and we asked, uh, what are the hot topics in CIS? What's new? What's not? What's dead? Um, <laughs> we've got a simple type, um, two by two. Um, and yeah, highly contextualized and um, you know, in some ways I think that's meant to be provocative, in other ways, you know, you can dismiss it. Um, well, we've got some interesting ideas there, and I think um, what we're going to do, so we've got, can we read that okay? Um, there's some interesting insights here, and I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the students here to just um, give their reflections on what this thing means in such a way just to stimulate de debate between us. So the focus is actually on simulating debate. Uh, Mary Charles is going to keep time and chair the discussion so that we do see the pandas. Um, and so get thinking and tell us what you think. Um, I'll start. Okay. Well, um, maybe because of my meeting faces, I was, I was very sad <laughs> to see that it's not hot anymore uh, to do laboratory studies. Um, generally to think about issues about boundary work and reflexivity. So, maybe I should quit. <laughs> because that's what the PT uh, is mainly about. Um, and I want, I mean, of course, that's the, that's the issue about the exercise, that we don't really need to know who, that, who said that maybe that are just those, um, are dead. But I just wonder, and I've been thinking about why is it might, some people might think that they're dead, or that they're just not interesting anymore. Um, and I cannot think of any reason. <laughs> so I was wondering whether maybe maybe doing an exercise of thinking about why some people might think that they are just not useful anymore. Anyone has any idea? Or maybe the reason why it's about reflexivity, they're not maybe considered to be hot anymore is because maybe SDS has a past of ongoing issues about reflexivity that for and I speak from my own personal experience. Some of the some of the debates in essays about reflexivity for me they were a bit confusing, um, and they were not. I mean, even sterile, like unnecessary. So I wonder whether you that you are in a in a different generation and even professional stage, maybe you could think about why some people might think that some of the issues here, um, especially in laboratory studies, which is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I have to tell just to find my research. But um, these are my surprising takes, among other ones. But um, I was surprised about gender as well. Um, but so, I don't know, if you have any thoughts about why, please go along and go ahead. Yeah? Um, slightly related to hers as well, what I thought was kind of or to me was a lot of things on the not hot side. You've got, you know, multi-level perspective, reflexivity, boundary work. And this is stuff that we were learning just, you know, maybe a year or two ago, and all this is new to us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's old. It's, you know, we don't talk about it anymore. Yeah. But um, I like to think that even though maybe people don't think it's old, it's, it's a lot of things that we build on. So what you've done, what you come out to the hot side, you've, you've built on not hot side. So you still use this as a basis. And I think that's really important because um, because you wouldn't have gone to a society without going through learning about uh, A&T, Scott, and all that stuff. And um, I mean, I'm using multiple perspective as well, and I'm using knowledge transfer, discourse analysis. And it's just really interesting to find out, you know, what do people think as well? Like, how, how do we come to the hot side without going through the not, not hot side? Yeah. See, that's really difficult to say. Just, we should have just gone hot and cold. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's... My experience in this. Just on the point that you mentioned, in a little perspective, and it's really funny that it's on both sides, right? Like, Is it? Just, okay. <laughs> that's just a sort of ambiguity and sort of different perceptions that we have of this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, what I want to say is just a really brief, brief comment. Um, uh, what, what, it, what it strikes me was that um, when we were doing the question, we as uh, interviewers, uh, well, uh, we would like to be on the hot side for some reason. 
And I, I'm not sure that that, that, that that should be the, our, our, our aim or our motivation. Um, normally, the, the topics are related with, uh, are driven by, um, well, economic opportunities of financial, uh, I mean, there are funds to do related with things, so uh, they are politically motivated as well. And mm, some of you may be really interested in some of the issues that you're working at the moment, some of, some of you are not, um, but at the, at the PhD level, I mean for us, I think it's more useful to, to find what is important for us, because we're going to be working on this, on our PhD for four years, and as Trevor says uh, yesterday, uh, you have to find the, the motivation, uh, what's close to your heart, because you will be working on the subject for several years. But at the same time, if I can say something, we will be working on a topic that maybe... It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it I mean, when, when, when do you publish in four years' time? People will think that it's just out of... Uh, yeah, but, uh, but at the same time, it's like uh, the reproduction of tradition. You cannot be on the mainstream when you are starting. Um, and we are starting, so... And I don't know if you want to be on the mainstream, anyway. Well, that's... <laughs> I guess the I just think it's interesting that gender is on the Malakot side. And is that because maybe it's considered to be irrelevant or it's finished or is it because it's associated with like second wave feminism and it's what seems to be I don't know, modern mm -hmm. and of in some way I yeah, Especially given the latest debates around feminism mm -hmm. and yeah. such as you know, how we got involved in that thing. Um, Okay, just a couple of final points I forgot to mention um, at the beginning and then we'll open up to a discussion. So firstly, apologies if you weren't included in this round, or, you know, survey. Um, we all allocated names and just the way it worked out, sometimes we just didn't reach you, we didn't find you, or you are frankly less interesting than me, cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing which was really surprising, um, which everyone mentioned in this room actually, was um, Alvaro is, uh, Alvaro is new, he's hot, um, and please be nice to him. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, uh, thank you very much and let's open the discussion, what do you think?